All right, man. Let's just let's just let's just. Do you want a souvenir for the grand too? That's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> it just is that so fast. I was like, oh my God. Oh my. God. What's up guys? Today we have a very special and unique vlog guys. That's because I'm gonna be trying some very exotic food here. Check this out. This guy's gonna be on the menu. A couple of these guys. These over here. And este es mi plato? Si. Sí. Okay guys, so this is gonna be my actual place. So we have some crayfish. We have some flying... Esta como son? Hormigas voladoras. Hormiga chicatana. Alright, right, so some lo flying lo ants. Esto que es? Larva de maguey. Larva. Oh my god. ¿Y estos? Gusano de maguey. Gusano. Alright, so we got some worms Chili there. Quill. Chili quills. We have some grasshoppers. And we have little scorpions here. And then we have some scorpion hot sauce here. And they also have some other exotic meats which I'm going to show you. I'm not going to be eating those, but I will talk to you about them. And we're going to also see how they cook all this stuff. Joining me is gonna be the man running the show over here, who has an awesome name, by the way. His name is Carlos, by the way. One time for Carlos. Yeah. What a surprise, two Latino guys with the name Carlos. Not a real big surprise. But anyways, what can you tell me about this place over here, man? I mean, uh, I mean you guys got exotic meats, exotic insects here. It's like a Mexican thing. You're Mexican, raised in, I mean, you were born in US. Arizona, right? But you're Mexican, so like, well, what can you tell me about all this stuff here? Well, we've been here a couple of years now. Due to COVID-19, we did close a couple of months, but we, re we reopened when it went from red light to orange. Right. So, but, but we've been selling all these meats. The, the, all the meats we have are farm raised. We okay. do sell a controversial meat, well, two of them. It's just lion, tiger. People get scared because they think we hunt them in the wild. It is illegal to hunt them in the wild, that's from what I know. But these are our farm raised animals. We, we do have venison which is red stag, genetics from New Zealand. We have wild boar, crocodile. It's Mexican and it, it's raised in Tabasco and Veracruz. All right, so basically all the animals here are farm raised. They are. And the insects too? Insects are, are collected in the wild. Some, okay. them, some are farm raised. All right. All right, well, we'll give all this stuff a try. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, no problem. Check out my plate, guys. They're adding some decorative touches to it. Guys, I've been given access to go behind the scenes. We're gonna go to the kitchen. Sofanator is my fan over here. And while she's gonna start cooking some of these things out, well, she's gonna fry them. So, simplemente lo fríes, lo pones a freír y, y le echas algo. Limón y sal. Limón y sal, Así nada más. Es. Okay. So, I told her to mix up my platter to make them half fried and half natural so I can have the, the taste of how they, they taste naturally, you know? Because she basically fries them up and she just puts salt and lemon there. Very Mexican to add lime to everything. Let's check it out. These are the crayfish here. So these are the ones that we eat right here, but these are alive. Yeah, or these are, are different species. No, they're the same. The same? The same species, but they're alive. So these are venomous right now. Oh, they are. Well, they're stinging. Okay. Alright, they don't like to be near each other, so they're no, like pretty they territorial. Yes, they are. And one's a female, one's a male. Oh, man. They don't like each other. Yeah, they're ready no for that. No chemistry. They're waiting for that divorce paper to come through. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Alright. So check it out guys, you can also get the scorpions covered in chocolate, but I'm going for the more authentic taste over here. Sophonator is like, uh, yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'll probably just eat the flowers. <laughs> the flowers, we could eat the flowers? Yeah, you can eat flowers. Yeah? yeah all right, all right, Sophonator's gonna eat the flowers. flowers. Here we have the platter full of bugs. I feel like Lion King, you know, like Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah, Pumbaa. I'm Simba. I feel like I'm Simba and I'm about to try all these grubs here for the first time. Uh, we got some but before some that, check it out. <laughs> True Mexican style over here, guys. So this right here, guys, is some um, mezatan. They said it's like the cousin of tequila. 
So this is to build up some courage before, yep. or maybe it's just like alcohol. It just makes things taste better. It, it smells really strong. So yeah. It looks like a small beer. Oh yeah, it smells like tequila. It smells yeah. like we're gonna clean up right here. Cheers. One shot. <laughs> oh bad, sulfonator is <laughs> That's my lightweight right there. But she's handling it. She she's going through it right now. I didn't drink the whole thing. Oh you, bottoms up. <laughs> Alright, true Mexican style right there guys. She got it done. It's all gone. It's really hot guys. Like, oh my god, my throat, my throat is on fire right now. Fire. Alright. Let's wait a second to see if I can eat any of this or I'll just eat the flowers. <laughs> like, I'm gonna start. Men first. <laughs> Carlos start. Start with the little what is this one brother? That is red. It's red with a red magay worm. A red maguey worm. Yes. It looks like bacon. And what? How did you guys? What did you guys do to cook it? Like it's just. Just fried. Oh, it's just fried. Oh, that's why it feels kind of hard. All right, guys, let's try the little worm over here. Does it taste like bacon? <laughs> it looks like bacon. It's just crunchy. It's crunchy. That's about it. A little bit of a different kind of taste came in there. But overall, yeah, just crunchy. And the different taste in there. I'm not not very fond of it, but I'm not against it either. It's just a taste there. Let's try another one. Maybe with the alcohol, like it helps. It's hard. Is it that hard? Like, no. I don't know. You look at it. It's hard. It's like Pringles. <laughs> Chips. Maybe healthier though. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, the more I eat it, the more I begin to like it. Yeah, it just tastes like something fried, guys. Like, like a piece of fried chicken skin or something like that. That's that's what I'll compare it to—a piece of fried chicken skin. All right, I was gonna try it until he says that. <laughs> oh man, I discouraged you the sulfonator. Failed, you failed me. All right. My nose is running like hardcore. You know what? I'm gonna jump next on the little termites, the tree termites. Don't get rid of it. Just eat it. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Is it cool? Pringles. You should try this one. It's like I, chips. I should or? Or go for the flowers. The flowers are edible. Oh yeah, flowers I can They said the flowers are edible. I'll start with the, uh, the uh, flowers with one on it. Oops. Oh, but it fell. It fell. So I'm not going to eat it. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Am I brave today? It's like slippery, like. Yeah, they're fried. Let me take this one. If uh, someone would have told me I would be eating insects, to my dad. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like insect. It but you never weird. tasted an insect. That's true. <laughs> uh, that, that is true. Yeah, just like a... Yeah, I have this grain in French, but I don't know the word. The green one that I buy. It's just crunchy. Like. Yeah, it's just crunchy. I don't know, it's like a lot of protein in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, grubs are full of protein. Let me try the flour. I don't know, I prefer to try the grubs than the flour. I feel like that's vegetable. It's actually very good. It's very really juicy, this flour. You can have all the flowers. I'll get all the flowers. And one insect, one flower. That's really juicy. You know what's the biggest thing here is the scorpion, and we also have a tarantula for later but we're gonna finish this first and then they're gonna show me how they cook the tarantula because that's a special procedure to make sure nothing goes wrong so we're gonna wait for that but in the meantime let's go for something more juicy guys check this out i can see the legs and it's really traumatizing right here yeah you see the the little grasshopper legs in mexico they call them uh chapulines yeah <laughs> the more I look at the legs, the more I'm like, uh, I eat it. yeah. <laughs> wow, brave is brave. <laughs> I was like, what's gonna happen? Like, they're gonna transform into a big one. Eyes oh, not good. Ugh. 
Yeah. yeah. Because it's shot. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the grasshopper there. I taste the lemon and the salt that they cooked it with. Thank God for that. But I don't know. There's just something in there that gave me an unappealing taste. <laughs> Hard pass on the grasshoppers. So let me try just this one. I think it's only the, the only second one that we'll try. Everything is super like greasier. They're fried. All you don't sing. One, two, three. Live your life. Yolo. There's something there, right? Yeah, it tastes like a a chip, like yeah, a bad chip. Like a really light chip, like yeah. like Lay's, like American Lay's, like they're just yeah. very thin and they just almost dissolve in your it's mouth. Like they forgot to put something in it, you know, you just got oh, oh now I'm getting a nasty taste. Yeah, you know what, guys? Um, I noticed here that here these are fried and these are just natural. So, I need a flower, sorry. <laughs> to balance. He's eating flowers, guys. Incredible. I'm gonna try a natural grasshopper. Let's look for a big juicy one right here. This one. This one's not fried or anything. I like it better natural. I'm gonna pick the next one for Carlos. I have one, two, three, four left. All right, I'll go with this one. Woo! I don't know, I have some difficulties with my hand today. So this is the white McGay worm. It's basically similar to this one, but it's bigger and it's supposed to be white before they cooked it. Let's see what he thinks of this. It's gonna be given with love. Ah, but no, it's, we grabbed it. <laughs> How is it? More bacony? <laughs> Not good. We're not used to this kind of no, it, it has like that barbecue taste. You know when you get like a piece of burnt, burnt part on the barbecue? It tastes like that. So it has like a charcoal taste. It's very dry. And yeah, it's like chips. Literally, I feel like I'm eating chips, guys. That's, that's what exactly what this feels like right now. It's like appetizer snacks. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You should offer me that for Valentine's Day. You're gonna eat that? No, I was just gonna put it in my... You can have it, it's for you. Thank you. Kind of offer it myself. Does that mean the scorpion is next? All right, go for the big one. Oh man, this is just... It's the looks of it that are just traumatizing almost. It will traumatize me for sure, I will never eat that. Never. No. no. You want this? <laughs> He ate it. Oh, you guys ate it already? Uh, it's kind of acid. It's acidic? Uh, acidic. Oh, man, where are you guys from? France? Yeah. Oh, I know it. What part? Paris. Paris? Oh, she's from Normandy. Ah, sweet. Oh, sweet. That's a real Norman food, no? <laughs> yeah, you can find this all over Normandy, yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I think you'll find this more in like the sewers of Paris, maybe, no? <laughs> With ratatouille. Chocolate? Chocolate scorpions there. You mind if I take a picture? They're not mine. Are you? They're not yours? Yeah, no. <laughs> the French are impressed by the scorpions. Yeah, check, yeah, yeah. check it out, this is what they're looking at, guys. Chocolate scorpions. And then that scorpion tequila right there. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. You good day. Too. Bonjour. <laughs> Oh man. Always a Frenchie somewhere in the world. Yeah. Alright man, let's just let's just let's just Do you want a souvenir for the grand too? That's why I'm like happy. You <laughs> just is that so fast I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh shit. <laughs> that is gross. Yeah. Why did you do that? Look at like this gonna cry like oh my god like, are you okay? This is disgusting. Oh my god, do you want water? <laughs> I feel terrible for him right now. Oh my god. Let's get it over with, man. Oh, uh, oh my god, like, are you gonna call me? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm on my way there right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me not think about it. I'm just trying to think about it. I'm trying to think of like a delicious biryani right now. Anything <laughs> but the scorpion. Oh my god. Bro, the scorpion is a hard pass. Oh my god, I think I got 
It's. Oh my god. Good I don't know. There's a, do there's, a, there's, a, there's a taste in there that I'm just not feeling right now, man. Oh, wow. He's, look at his face right now. He's looking at me like, really, dude? Come on, man. Come on. Oh my god. It's, it's a scorpion. It's good on protein. Your blood. That's good because I worked out earlier, but man. Yeah, no, that tasted me like. <laughs> or I should have got the chocolate one. I think it would have been sweeter. <laughs> How's it taste? What, what does it taste like? I can't describe it. It just tasted like something that immediately my mouth wanted to reject. Like, <laughs> I was legit like... Oh, so, you should have got it with the small one. I mean... It's so nah, go big or go home. Oh, you know what? They have these little... What are these? Like little salts smoke, with... Smoke salt mixed with um, grasshopper. Powdered grasshopper uh, and flying You grass. know what? Grasshopper sounds good right now at the head of the <laughs> Everything else will sound good. Oh, the salt is actually nice. Yeah, yeah that's, Smoke. that's why it's there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the salt. Woo, you survived. All right, guys, maybe, maybe have the scorpion with some salt in your mouth already, and it adds a pleasant taste. You know, I mean, salt just makes food taste good. Listen, big word. You want the rest of the scorpion too? No. Guys, look at the stinger. You cannot eat the stinger. You can eat to like about here. I ate to here to not take a risk, just in case. I will pass on this one. <laughs> I don't that's want to choke pass, like huh? I eat them, I eat them. All my life I've beat them. Maybe that's what you're used to them, maybe. Yeah. You know, so it's like... It's really different. Yeah, you know? It is, it you're is. just used to them, yeah. That's yeah, a hard pass, huh? No, the scorpion's a hard pass. Like the, <laughs> I, I can deal with the natural grasshoppers. I like them better than the fried ones. The worms are fine too. The little termites are fine too. But yeah, no, just the scorpion. It hit me hard, dude. Yeah, I'll eat that. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking. Oh, man. Oh, oh, my God. We still got the tarantula left. I don't oh. need this one. You have this too. Yeah, but these are these are like light right now. You know, after having the scorpion, oh, these yeah, are... You have to try. Did you have, you have this, the, the flying ant? No, I haven't had the flying ant. Oh, wow. It's big. It oh, I thought these were like separate. No, no, no. no. Guys, look how big this ant is. This is a big ant. <laughs> Give it a like if it doesn't show on it. <laughs> Again, I don't like the ant, but after the scorpion, it's just like nothing, you know? Yeah. The ant is fine. The ant is fine, guys. <laughs> I remember his face forever. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun editing this I video. I bad, but I couldn't stop laughing. Duh. You know what? Eat one of these little scorpions right here. I'll eat my grass. I'll <laughs> eat my grains. Now. You want one of these little crayfish? No. I'm out. <laughs> I legit feel like Simba right now. You know? Except he liked the grubs that in the movie, but I'm... The grubs is right there? The grubs. Ah, the grubs. <laughs> you like the grubs? <laughs> Hey, tequila shot, tequila shot. Hey. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a tequila, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows, man, but... All right, let's get this over with and then let's move on to the tarantula. And after that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat some tacos. <laughs> oh, this one is fine. Literally, it tastes like nothing at all. Let me try the fried one. They fried it with... Lemon and salt. Yeah, that one is fine. I'm gonna try the salt. Give the salt a try. They mix it with worms and grasshoppers and all this delicious stuff in there. You want me to vomit or? And a little bit of scorpion. Okay, I don't like it. Alright, so the more that I'm eating the little crayfish, they begin to taste like fishy. Estos son las comillas, ¿vale? Y no es venenosa esta. No, son este cero tóxicas. Uh, she says that these tarantulas are non-toxic. So right now she's removing the fangs. Entonces, si no es tóxica, ¿por qué hay que quitarle los colmillos? Más que nada por el filo. El ah, porque filo. me puede cortar. Así es. Alright, so I can get cut by the fangs, so that's why she's removing them. Alright. Y eso es para quemarle los pelos. Así es. 
se tienen que quitar todos los vellos para que ustedes no tengan ningún tipo de peligro de que se vayan a atragantar o algo así. I saw the juice coming out of it right now. That just turned me off. That right there. <laughs> and the juice that comes out, is the blood of her? Exactly. That's it. Y todo eso se come. Sí. Oh man. All right, guys. So the white juice coming out is the blood of the tarantula, and she says that you eat all of that. All right. She's gonna fry it up now, guys. And basically, the point of burning it up is because the defense of the tarantula is those little hairs it has. Basically, when it's attacked, it's gonna disperse these hairs, and these hairs are gonna get inside the mouth or the nose of a predator and it's gonna disturb it, so basically I'm the predator right now, sort of. And if I was to eat those hairs, they're gonna irritate my throat. So she had to burn them all off. Next up, she's gonna fry them up here. Aceite, sal y limón nada más. Así es. Ya freír ya. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back to my seat and wait for this tarantula to be ready for me. Alright guys, she's also adding some tequila to it. Oh my god, whoa! That surprised me. Oh, y gusanito también. Gracias. Check out what they have created, guys. I thought I was just getting a tarantula, but they have Mexicanized it. They've added tortillas here, so it's kind of like a taco now. They've added a little worm there. So that's what you can expect. Yeah, that's all. I'm gonna let you know, it's gonna be normal for your mouth to get numb, a little bit numb because of because of the intense flavor. Hold on, time out. He just said my mouth is gonna get numb and that's... You sure there's no venom in this? No, there is no venom. It's perfectly normal. It's, it's because of the flavor. It's intense. A bit intense. I haven't ate anything in my life that has numbed my mouth. So, I'm this curious. Will, it, there's, a, there's a good chance, but I mean, a good chance that it won't happen too. So, I mean, it's a 50-50. It's a 50-50. Yeah, but it's normal. It's, it's okay. It's normal. All right. I'm letting you know because it's normal, guys. I've I've eaten before. And it's normal. All right. We'll do it, man. It's all right, man. I'm just joking around, man. <laughs> it's all good, man. We're gonna we're gonna do this. It, it, no, it's no. gonna happen. You're gonna do I'm it. Gonna I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna eat. No, 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 no. Well, I'll, I'll take the flower. I'll take. The flower. I'm just kidding. Oh man. Good luck. Eh? Check out what they have here, guys. It's uh kind of tequila here but with the dutch greens included i'm with you i'm with you <laughs> guys the tarantula is about to go down but i want to actually taste the tarantula so i'm gonna bite it first and then after i bite it i'll i'll finish it with the taco if i can have a look at this Oh, let, let's take the flower off of it so you guys can see it in all its looks cute. <laughs> in all its pure glory. It's a bit squishy. <laughs> Check this dude out. He's just like watching the other like he's just waiting for the reaction and so is Carlos here like Alright that's it man. Let's just let's the just do it. The reaction is coming right now. <laughs> it looks disgusting. It is. Just swallow first. <laughs> oh, it's not dead. Uh, oh, no. It's not that bad, 
The scorpion was worth it. Oh, babe, I can't feel my mouth. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like fucking with me. No, it's not. The more okay. I eat it, the more I like it. It's like, a, you know, they, they, I think they, it got burned a little bit. Cause it tastes extremely like, like, um, very, very barbecued fried chicken. Not fried chicken, just barbecued chicken. Like, intense. It tastes a heck of a barbecue taste, but it's not, it's not bad. Not like, the first the, part was, but, yeah. I mean, I don't know. We got the little, the butt part left. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna eat that with the taco. And and the little worm I got over here. Oh my god. I mean I still haven't finished swallowing, it's just it does the skin of the tarantula is tough. And you scared me so much when you're like, babe, I don't feel my mouth. I was like, oh my god, like emergency, what are we gonna do? <laughs> babe, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you try. <laughs> I will take a thousand dollars. <laughs> Two thousand dollars. No way. I know. No? No. Oh man. Because I'm the one really going to do those I would love <laughs> to see Sophie bite this, like, that would be so priceless, man. I still haven't swallowed it, but it, it's not bad. I'll be honest, it really tastes like, like, um, like, like burnt uh, barbecue chicken, pretty much. That's what it tastes like. The scorpion, I don't like the scorpion at all. <laughs> no, but I could deal with the tarantula. I still haven't swallowed this thing. Yeah. Let's, let's take it with a shot. Let's, let's make some tequila in there. Tequila, tarantula. Tequila, tarantula. Oh. I, I can't chew it. It's, just, it's very tough to chew, you know? I'm like... It's gonna stay here in this room. <laughs> I'm just gonna swallow this. Ready? Go for it. It's still too big of a piece to swallow. <laughs> I mean, it's taking forever to chew. It's getting annoying now. Oh so I feel like I'm just chewing on like burnt pieces. All right, it's down now. Now next up, the little the butt of the tarantula. It's like an olive. It looks like an olive. And let's just let's just go in all the way, man. I I don't know when I'm gonna do this again if I ever do it again. So we're gonna go all the way in and. We're gonna get the full combo with the worm and the booty of the tarantula with the tortilla, the salad, and, and flour. I'm eating flowers. What the heck? That's what seems the most normal to me eating I don't flowers. think I've ever eaten a flower in my life. I haven't done so yet. I, I did tried. five minutes ago. Let's just do this. This is a commercial waiting for Carlos to swallow. So, you're hungry? You want a snack? Just get your tarantula in. <laughs> it's hot. Check it out, guys. They added tarantula oil with some hotness there. So, my lips right now are hot, and so is my tongue. It's getting hot. They added some, some very spicy chilies there. It's not your everyday light spice. It's hot. Not for me, not for me. But, like I said, and I'm glad I ate the tarantula first because I actually got to taste it. That second bite, I have no idea what the butt of this tarantula tastes like. All I taste more than anything is the corn tortilla. More than anything, that's it. And now my mouth is really hot due to the spice. It's always eating flowers. Yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> well, that's something you don't do every day, guys. What an experience. I'm proud that I did it. I'm proud for Sophinator over here. I tried two, but it's already a bigger first. And you had flowers, so yeah, I did. that was good. This is right here in uh, Mercado de San Miguel, oh, nearby San Juan. San, <laughs> I suck. Mercado de San Juan. There's two of them, so just look for this one. But they're five minutes away, so you can't really go wrong. Let's get away from this music. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave the market now. That was a heck of an experience trying all these insects Mexican style, you know? They added the lime, then they added the tortilla. It was Mexicanized. I liked it. Sophinator tried a couple of bugs over there. I was 
really proud of myself, just a few too small, but hey, it's the first day for it. Carlos just oh, went found it, guys, I found it. I did what I could and I ate a lot of flowers. <laughs> yep. I didn't try the flowers myself, so I still haven't tried flowers. So it's still, it could still be on the to-do list. Oh, the sun is out now. Yeah. yeah, this is Mexico City. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this video here. This is Mercado de San Juan. It's nearby the historic city center here in Mexico City. There's two of them, but they're five minutes away. So if you come here, you could check out both. They have different foods and whatnot. If you want to check out these, this insect buffet that we just had, feel free to do so, guys. I'm going to finish this video here, guys. Goodbye from the streets of Mexico City. We'll catch you guys on the next one.